We all know Mags of Holding is incredibly fun, but what it does when you combine it with this weapon is insane. We're gonna go to Tier 3, the Dark Aether, and we're gonna complete the Dark Aether Stronghold, and this gun is gonna demolish everything in our way. I have to admit, this was one of the first weapons I immediately thought of when Mags of Holding came out. This is the Modern Warfare 2 Lockwood 300, and I have on that special trigger that actually shoots both of your rounds at the same time. And as you can see, without Mags of Holding, it's pretty good in terms of damage, but you have that reload in between everything. So what's gonna happen when we go ahead and pop Mags of Holding here? Well, let's kind Let's see. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh boy, that that alone is worth it. Oh wow. Unupgraded, just monster damage right here. Granted, granted, you know, tier one and all that stuff. Let's go into tier two with this thing. As we make our way there, I'll throw on these perks. I've got a golden armor plate. I got an ether blade case this time around. And of course, we have to flip this to legendary and pack a punch too. And I might as well go ahead and throw on the clock that I'm using here. I really don't feel confident in this one. It was kind of like a hip fire class, but I don't know if it's like the best hip fire class or I don't even know if hip fire is the thing that I should be using anyway. I have a lot of high hopes for this weapon here. I especially hope that it's good for boss zombies. Oh my goodness. When you pack a punch this guy, it becomes like a two round burst gun. I don't know if it's just naturally that way or if it's the attachment that I have on it. I'm only pulling the trigger once and it shooting twice. It's it's called the unlock wood. All right, here is our oh no, it's that uh, energy mine's going to kill that disciple. Dang it. Oh well. Hopefully we'll get another boss zombie here. All right, there's a disciple over here. Let's go get it. All right. Let's see. You've got full health. I'm going to go right up to you. Oh. <laughs> This is amazing. There's the mangler in like two rounds. Oh, wow. This could be our boss killer, beautiful people. This could be our boss killer. We got to do a bounty next. We got to do a bounty. All right. Despite a little distraction from the convoy, we should be here and this mimic should be just inside this door. Let's get that mouth wide open and let's see how good it is. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty darn good. That is so... Oh, that's so strong. That is so strong. I think we're ready, beautiful people. I think it's time we just go straight for tier three. And might I say tier three all to myself. I know a lot of people have brought up that this weekend there is a free to play weekend for zombies. So that very well may be the reason that there's not a lot of people in tier three lately. No matter what it is, I am grateful for it. Start placing these extractors so that way we can get our horde of zombies that we want. Oh yeah. They this is what I'm after. This is what I'm after. Oh, look at all of them. Look at all of them. All right, taking out spores. Oh, it's a one shot to the spores. That's awesome. Takes out dogs nice and easily. We got some open space here. Let's go for it. Yeah. Oh, out of ammo already. That's okay. We can do this guy. Oh, that's going to take out the whole horde. Dang it. Ammo, ammo. Very good. Boom, boom. It says to reload. That's silly. Definitely taking out zombies fairly well. Not, not as exaggerated as it was in tier one or tier two, but definitely look at that one shot headshot. Very viable. We just got to make sure we're running back over the zombie bodies so we get some ammo. All right, Mangler, let's see what you're made of here. Actually, not super great on the Manglers. Granted, we're not tier three Pack-a-Punch yet, but that's not terrible. Not going to write it off yet. We are yet again low on ammo, so that is not good. All right, not so bad. All right, perfect. We've got a little Disciple here. We've got some ammo on the ground. Let's kind of shoot this guy. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. I'm excited for tier three pack a bunch for this guy. Ooh, yeah, nothing crazy in there. Man, it is just me in here. This is awesome. All right, where's pack a punch at? Let's go ahead and take the donut mobile over to pack a punch. I'm hoping for a pretty substantial change here. Let's go tier three pack a punch. It looks beautiful. Obviously, still one shotting the dogs, but let's see how it does. Oh, that was a one shot. Okay, <laughs> I think this is gonna be really good. Hey, a disciple. How is it? going buddy that's three shots okay four shots from this guy eight rounds four shots to kill a disciple that's not bad 
at all. I've been getting closer and closer to getting gold on nearly every single Modern Warfare 3 weapon here in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. But then every once in a while, I take a look at all of the Modern Warfare 2 weapons, and boy oh boy, do I have such a long ways to go. And it sounds like these guys are going to go into the Elder Dark Aether. And honestly, I can't think of a better way to test this thing out than in the Dark Aether. I mean, look at this. We've got this. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. And this, beautiful people, is why I sometimes get confused when people say, oh man, they just nerf all the fun and there's no viable weapons. It's like, are you seeing this right now? This is crazy fun and it's most certainly viable. Might as well go ahead and get all the perks that I can. And I think I can get all of them. Nice. Oh, a mimic. Perfect. Let's aim down sights here and see if that does even more damage. Yep. All right. Three little shots there. Another mangler just sitting here. Let's get close. That's one. Oh, and I think that's going to kill him. Okay, well, three shots either way with the dead wire stun. I mean, this thing like one shots fully armored zombies in tier three. Like this is, oh, this is great. Although it is pretty easy to run out of ammo if you're not picking them up from the zombies. But honestly, with how quickly this kills zombies, that should not be an issue. Ooh, insta kill, let's go. And nothing again. These tier three rewards are not giving me much. All right, let's pick up this HVT contract. Hi, buddy. Uh-oh, let's head out the window here. And luckily, Luckily, we got a Mega Abomination. We get to test out and see just how strong this is gonna be. All right, I kind of have a bad feeling about this, if I'm being honest. Thinking about it, the shotgun's really a close range weapon, so unless we're really close, I don't know how powerful this- Oh, <laughs> what? You said what now? We're gonna go in here to try to bait him into here. That way, I mean, if he follows us. Okay, yes, follow me, follow me. Oh, he's following me. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for following me. And now what you can do, yep, chomp chomp, and hopefully we could just sit here and pop your mouth. This shotgun is nuts. Oh, all the wretchlings, all the wretchlings. Let's get our energy mind going, try to take care of these guys. Nice, awesome. Look, at it's almost dead already. We've got one more mouth to go. And these guys are so easy lately. I'm sure they're going to get fixed in a... In a update soon, but um, nope, just like that, you are all dead. Wow, all for jug, all for nothing. All right, wow, so I guess that means this thing is the real deal. Oh no, somebody's pleading for help. I gotcha, we can do it, we can do it. I think these guys are looking for the dark ether as well. Oh, hello, Mega Abomination. Oh yes, you're gonna try to shoot me. Isn't that so silly of you? Oh, another person pleading for help, uh-oh. I kinda wanna pick up the contract first. I think I'm gonna pick up the contract first and then I'll go pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> it's a doggy dog out world out there. Where are these guys at? Okay, they're right here. All right. Oh, he's already got him. Okay, let's do this and let's fight this mega abomination. Look at how insane this this thing is right now. This world is. There's so many zombies here. This is awesome. I mean, there's soon not going to be a lot of zombies here. Disciple, how's it going? Not so well. Well, goodbye. <laughs> mega abomination, can you can you come over here, please? I would like to shoot you in the face. Thank you. I mean, while I'm shooting you in the face, I might as well do this raid weapon stash here. This guy's shooting me through the window. The audacity of this man. You know what? I'm just gonna go up here and complete my contract. That guy's not hurting anybody. He's doing just fine out there. I uh, might as well finish him off, right? I mean, we got the shotgun, so <laughs> might as well. That's so crazy powerful. And I think I might invite these guys to my squad here. Hey, hey, we got a new squad mate. Let's go. And we got a new squad mate, and he's down, but he should be picked up. All right, I think these guys are gonna go to the dark ether. All right, give us something good. Nothing again. My luck in tier three has been going down. I am going to drop my self revive here or a self revive here because these guys just went down here. So I'm going to ping that guy. There you go. And now I'm going to buy some Casimirs. I think five should be OK. Oh, another mangler. Hello, sir. Let's do one, two, two rounds, two rounds from this guy. It's just nuts, isn't it? It's just crazy. The gun's incredibly addicting. I knew it was going to be fun. I didn't think it would be this fun. Oh, boy, my. My guys keep going down. We gotta go save them. We gotta go save them. Oh, they've got a horde of zombies over there. Let's go. Oh, they got a disciple flying in the air, don't we? Um, I'm gonna throw down this guy here, and hopefully that'll help. I'll kill the mimic real quick here, because I've got this beast of a weapon. Got quick revive. Should be fine. Gonna cover this guy. Look at this teamwork. Oh, he's using the flamethrower. That's still great against these zombies. 
Oh, Disciple? Um, where? Where's the Disciple? I don't see him anywhere. <laughs> and let's go see. I need to find... I don't have a sigil this game, and these guys said they wanted to go to the Dark Aether, I think. Oh, there's a sigil. Just like that. Right for me. Isn't that awesome? And a lot of you guys have been on me about dropping schematics for my team, except these guys probably already have that schematic because those type of schematics are already shared between these guys. By that I mean when you get a schematic in the overworld here in Urzikstan, your entire team gets the same schematic. Unless it's the Red Worm, it's gonna be the same one. Or I guess if it's in the Dark Aether, it's also a different one. The new Dark Aether, the old Dark Aether is the same. I have a whole video about it, go check it out if you're confused. You know, depending on how fast this reload is without Mags of Holding, this might just be worth it without Mags of Holding too. Another sigil and not much else, dang. All right, I I pinged the Dark Aether Rift. I'm gonna see if they wanna go yet. I mean, we have a good amount of points here. There's a couple unopened boxes though. Nothing good in that one. Anything good in this one? No. I mean, I mean that turret circuit is always good, but actually, no, I'm gonna go grab it because I've got armor plates in here and you guys always let me know in the comments that I'm wasting inventory slots. I mean, you guys aren't wrong. It's just, you know, makes me feel better to have that much armor. Also, people who, uh, you know, are upset about the flamethrower and all that stuff. This is why I decided to do this, because check this out. Look at this. I mean, the flamethrower is still excellent against regular zombies. And now this shotgun is like amazing against boss zombies. Now I know, I know I got mags of holding on it, but in terms of sheer damage output, it's pretty darn good. And there are plenty of other things that are just as good, if not better. But I'm just saying, you can't get much better than, oh, ahem. but I'm just saying, this does a pretty darn good job. Now the question is, does somebody already have an Elder Sigil, or am I going to have to use my own Sigil? Everyone's making their way up here. I mean, I've only got this Sigil, bro. I think they're okay with it, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Alright, time to see how this shotgun fares in the the dark ether. All right, those guys are going straight for that. No one went for the contract, so I think I'm gonna have to take lead here. Let's get it and oh my goodness. What? We have a mangler instead of a mega abomination? Since when? This is the first time you guys are seeing it live. The first time I've ever gotten anything other than a mega abomination for this thing. It's in a different location too. Ooh, that is interesting. Oh, my man's gonna have such a hard time in the dark either. This thing is relentless. The shotgun is so good. I, uh, I'm i just, just gonna take on, I kinda wanna do this mangler all by myself. I kinda wanna do this dark ether all by myself. Maybe it was a bad idea to bring these guys in. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna need ammo and stuff, so these will lose be good here. I say as I like waste half my ammo. <laughs> I mean, just every zombie that gets in my way is just destroyed. It's out of there. Oh, the mangler's still in the fog. All right, that's that's not bad. Let's go up to him. I'm going to use my energy mind to kind of soften him up, get me a little bit of time with them. Wow, this shotgun is crazy. And of course, now that the whole team's here, we're just going to destroy him. Wow, and mags of holding and an elder sigil. Isn't that wonderful? I should definitely, uh, definitely drop that for him. I should definitely drop that. I'm going to take this instead of my armor plates. Um, oh, Oh boy, oh boy. This is why I like armor plates. This is why I like armor plates, guys. This is so, you know what? All right, Dark Aether Mangler all by itself. Three shots, that's all it takes. Three little rounds from this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and here we go. We've got this bunny. We'll go ahead and get this party started. And Disciple in the Dark Aether. Three shots. Three shots from this guy. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Absolutely nuts, man. Now, some people have said that when you're up here, you can actually still do the Outlast. I don't think that's true. And I think I got like the Disciple zap kind of stuck on me for now. I got this weird little animation playing on me. Disciple? Hello, Disciple. How are you doing? You're gone. Dang it, dude, this gun is fun. I know like the content of Modern Warfare 3 is still pretty like sparse, but like it's fun. Like this gameplay is crazy fun. This sandbox is just fun to be in. Like this is such a unique combination. I just adore it so much. It's such a simple little 
thing too, you know, like a perk that allows you not to reload. I mean, that was back in Black Ops 3. Legendary Ether Tool. Let's go. I'm going to pop my uh, thing here. I'm going to put Casimir's on the bar. And you know what? I'll take a Blood Burner key. Why not? We're going to go for our 200 IQ play. Go to this Ether Rift. And also, I thought I saw something. It might have been on Reddit or maybe even my Discord. Where if you try to pick up the bunny in melee at the same time, let's try to do that. Oh, you skipped the animation. Look at that. That's awesome. That's real. That's going to be really useful in the other Dark Ether. Ooh, that's going to be good. Oh, boy. This is going to be good. Oh, yeah. I almost kind of don't. I kind of don't even want to throw my Casimir in anymore. That's all right, though. No sense in risking anything you don't need to, right? Especially when there's so many zombies. I feel like this contract specifically has so many zombies. Throw a Casimir here, kind of cover my guy. I think I have to go pick up this other guy. Dude, this Mangler just drops. It's nuts. I don't see anybody going after this guy. Oh, actually, this guy is. Cool, cool, cool. Play as a team, guys. Play as a team. All right, I'm going to throw one of these guys, and I'm going to go after the boss zombies here. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. It's all dead. Let's do it. Third and final one. We got it. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, double pack punch. Look at all that good stuff. Awesome. You don't need any special equipment. You know what? I'll take the VR-11, and I'll take the Elder Sigil. And I think I'm going to actually take the Self-Revive instead of this Elder sigil because i think today is gonna be the day that i take on this ether nest in the dark ether i don't know if anybody's gonna help me actually this might be a terrible idea that's okay i'm close to an expo portal anyway i think we're okay i've got these guys on the bar i see one of these guys and i've got one of the best guns just one of the best guns isn't it it's so good we're gonna come up here and we're gonna stick to the right side unless i see one of these guys keep our eyes peeled it doesn't tell you how many are in here like it does during the story mission so that's a little sketchy and a little scary we got to keep our eyes on our gas mask i see one way over there we got it we're gonna have super sprinters in here we're gonna get our new gas mask like that go around the edge here keep an eye out Ooh, a disciples behind us maybe we can take care of him first this is actually not so bad oh actually that's a lot of zombies over there oh my goodness donuts come on don't say that kind of stuff don't jinx yourself we've got a couple of these guys that looks really good i always love it when i find multiple of them there's another multiple right there we're gonna have to jump down because our gas mask is getting low and then we'll have to refill here now we can go do this guy i saw another one up here down here this is this is getting to be a lot this is getting to be a lot this is getting to be a lot oh my goodness oh my goodness that's so many zombies and then i really hope this is the last one it is not. Rats. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, train it, donuts. Train it, donuts. Train them. Train them. Pretend you're like a good zombies player. Let's go back to this guy. Let's go back to this guy. I don't want our gas mask to just die here. Oh, come on. Come on. We're so close. Don't don't break. Don't break. Okay, we got it. Gas mask is full. I don't see it. I don't see it. And the dark ether is shrinking. I don't see it, beautiful people. I don't see it. I see a mimic. Oh, boy. I see a mimic. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go outside. Oh boy, because our gas mask is almost gone. I don't really care if I lose my gas mask. They're pretty cheap. I just want to complete this. And we've got 15 minutes, so I don't really... Aha, I think we found it. I think we found it. Let's hope. Let's hope. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Boom, boom. Did we do it? We did it. We did it. Let's go. <laughs> we did it with our gas mask just barely there barely there oh wow this gun this gun man they just don't stop they just keep coming they just keep coming this is honestly not a bad grinding area for camos all right now i just need to find oh there's the chest all right that's cool now do we get anything good Ooh, an epic ether tool that's not bad anything good in here look at all those epic ether tools that's pretty good that's oh wow okay quirk revive self revive and some more of that all right that was actually that was some pretty good loot i mean obviously if there's like a legendary ether tool in there but dang it man that's really good this is a good haul that's such a good haul honestly this was one of the most satisfying weapons i've ever used in modern warfare 3 like i just want to pick fights with this guy like get out of here look at that it's just so it's so fun it's so fun that being said i'll say it every single episode i wish there were more contracts in the dark ether and i wish 
this Dark Aether had more things to do like the Key Quest and the Albagra Dark Aether, because this really is the end game content that I absolutely love. It's challenging enough where you have to be on your feet at all times, but not so challenging that it's incredibly overwhelming to anybody. Ah, this is such a good gun. I would highly recommend this. Super, super fun. Look at all this amazing stuff we just got. Almost two thousand zombie kills we got fifty one thousand xp three and a half hours reduction in schematic cooldown that's nuts i mean that's not in the game yet don't get it confused that's not in the game yet but when it is in the game that wow that's a good game now if you're looking for more good weapons to use here in modern warfare 3 zombies with mags of holding you are gonna want to check out this one it's incredibly fun check it out here and stay beautiful